Oh, so we're just going ahead and doing it? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, and thank you for being here for the Late Night Show with Fowler. Well, as you've probably already figured out, 2021 is already turning out to be another crazy year, and at this point, I think it's fair to say that most of us are not very surprised by much. However, out of the multitude of events that have occurred, I don't think I would have expected rapper Lil Nas X to release custom Nike shoes. But it's not just that. As some of you may have heard, Lil Nas X announced that the release of a custom pair of Nike Air Maxes that reflect some of the content in his new music video. You know, the one where he goes down to hell and gives a lap dance to Satan. As if this year wasn't strange enough already. The shoes have pentagrams and the number 666 inscribed on them and also reportedly contain human blood in the soles. It's also been reported that there will be only 666 pairs available for purchase. However, this isn't a partnership with Nike in any way. It's actually a collaboration with an art house known as Mischief. The shoes are just a pair that he customized and is now selling. Now, whether or not this is or isn't a partnership with Nike, I can't imagine this would be good for their brand. I mean, to be fair, they already have partnerships with sweatshops in China, so I guess nothing is completely out of the question. Nevertheless, Nike has actually tried to distance themselves from this as much as possible. But you'd think that they would have at least looked over Lil Nas X before he bought them and distributed them, right? Like, I don't really understand how they didn't at least look at them and think, do we really want our brand to be associated with Satan? Their PR department must have looked at them like satanic custom Air Maxes. Lil Nas X is buying them and selling them. Screw it. Let him have it. He's famous. But enough about all that. One of the biggest stories in the last week that everyone has been talking about is the massive freighter ship that got stuck and has been blocking the Suez Canal. And it's no joke either. The shipping analyst said that the crisis cost over $10 billion in global trade every day that it was stuck. Fortunately, as of yesterday, the sh ship was freed and now business can continue as usual. But none of this has stopped people from making fun of the situation. Leave it to the internet to turn a global economic crisis into a joke. Uh, the internet has relentlessly mocked the situation with a storm of memes like this one. If you couldn't tell, this is a fake photo of uh, green cargo t containers that are situated to look like a crewmate from the Among Us mobile game. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the only, thing, the only two things that have lasted longer than this stuck cargo ship are Among Us memes and the 2020 presidential election. Speaking of presidents, President Biden held his first press conference of his administration last week, and it went about as well as you would expect. Take a look at this. And so I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. Come on, man. The press conference, uh, Biden also teased a possible 2024 re-election bid. I just hope that he still remembers that he is president in three years. 
Thank you all again for joining us tonight. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're coming in hot with our very special guest. Do I need to switch over to the wired? that you shouldn't be driving. I've taken 25 selfies in the last 10 minutes. 26. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call a ride home. I'm heading out, man. You wanna ride? No, I got my car, but I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Dude, are you okay? I am definitely buzzed. Yeah, I think I will take this and I will take that ride home. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your dog walker, on your left. your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Every family dreams to have their own house. This house changes our lives. <laughs> Habitat for Humanity is at work in your community and around the world. Through Shelter, we empower. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your barber, your barber's barber. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. My Shiro stretches every dollar, puts in long hours, puts others first. But now it's your time, Mom. Get free tips to help boost your retirement savings now at aceyourretirement.org slash Shiro. Part-time job, full-time hustle, all-time Shiro to all of us. It's time for you, our Shiro, to stretch for the stars. A free online chat can give you the personalized tips you need to start boosting your retirement savings today. Visit aceyourretirement.org slash Shiro. guest, Ryan Benton. He's my roommate. Uh, we're going to be playing the Hot Ones Truth or Dab game. Uh, if for those of you who don't know, Hot Ones is a mini-series on uh, YouTube uh, where, they inter where a guy interviewed celebrities and they put really hot hot sauce on wings and they eat them and you know, burn their tongues off, basically. So we're going to be doing the same thing. Um, Ryan, how are you doing today? I'm going to be doing awful, Michael. But yeah. <laughs> thank you for having me. been excited all week. Awesome. Well, I figured let's just dive right into it, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> so do you want to go first? Let's smell this bad boy. All right. We can start with that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some that's cumin, a, some turmeric in there. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. It's, right. a, it's a little bit of an interesting smell. I'm going to ask you a question first. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, Michael, you just pooped in a public restroom and realized there's not toilet paper. What do you do? Mm. Honestly, I'd probably just have to pull my pants up very carefully and try and go outside and find something different it's to be use. taping quite hard. <laughs> yeah, I would, it probably would, yeah. But I'd find, I'd, I would find some way to get out of that. All right, I guess I'll go next. So you're about to go out and celebrate your birthday with everyone here. If you had to pick <laughs> one person to stay back, who would it be and why? To stay back? Yeah. What do you mean? Like to not to not come with us. Oh. You because you made me play this game, but yeah. Yeah, probably. I, I mean, yeah. I mean that's fair. After this that's goes, that'll probably be what it is. You find the magic lamp. What are your three wishes? That's a tough one. Um, 
probably it'd probably be to find true love. Um, probably like a million dollars just to have some spending money, you know. <laughs> For that true uh, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just spend it all on my honeymoon, you know. Um, <laughs> and unity. Unity would be my third third wish. You just unity for the world, you know. All right. I think our world could use a little bit of that. What a true man. All right. Um, I don't know if this question can be aired on television, so um, <laughs> let's just not. Uh, we'll 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 skip over that one. Oh boy. All right. Why did your last relationship end? Give us the deets. Oh no, he's going for the, he's going for it. <laughs> oh my God. Really? <laughs> <laughs> There's seeds in it. Really? They have the seeds of the pepper in there too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am still better than talking about her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I think it's your turn. This is a different kind of card. BFF trivia is what we have, but never mind. So no. which university do, do we oh. attend? <laughs> yeah, we, <but> yeah. <laughs> name each. Ma name my parents. Oh, gosh. I guess I'm next because <laughs> my lips feel numb. I, I do not know the answer to that. Alrighty, down the hatch, I guess. The answers were April and Brandon. Oh. Whew. Got a little gassy. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Jeez. Whew. Oh my God, that's hot. Wasn't really expecting that. Oh. All right. Who is the most surprising person? to slide into your text messages, DMs, or inbox? That same X. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got this. <coughs> Who's the most promic promiscuous out of the two of us? Oh, that's definitely you. Yeah. That's You're it. the pretty boy of the apartment. <laughs> you get all the girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that X. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Since there's only two of us, what's my birthday month? April. That's yeah. correct. Aries season. Yes, yeah. Aries season. <laughs> Coming up. Who's the last person in the room <coughs> you'd start a business with? I guess besides Steve. Would, would you start a business with me, Michael? Honestly, I think I would. I, th I feel like we would work pretty well together. Just run you to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> have some. All right. <coughs> You're filling my throat. Yeah, me too. I just took the one. Um, <coughs> um, all right. Well, that's all we have for tonight. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you all next week. Oh, my God. You did do it again? Yeah. <laughs>